Today's episode of Bangladesh Uprising takes us deep into the shadows of history. We're about to uncover a pivotal moment from 1975, a period when Lieutenant Colonel Syed Farooq Rahman and Lieutenant Colonel Sultan Shahriar Rashid Khan executed the assassination of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the father of the nation. These men's actions ignited a series of events that forever altered Bangladesh's course. Two Bengali army officers, Colonel Farooq Rahman and Colonel Abdur Rashid, tell why they overthrew and killed Mujib, the man who'd been called the father of Bangladesh. Did you, did you all make any effort to make it known to Mujib that this should be changed? Well, no, I, I cannot make any effort because I am just a uh, junior officer in the army. I have no hand to tell him that you should correct yourself. In these circumstances, couldn't you have forced him to resign? Or was it necessary to kill him? No, you see, this, um, as I said earlier, also, he's the um, man, say, up to the main front, but he's not an administrator. So in that only thing that he has got a very good quality to agitate the uh, general mass. Mm -hmm. So uh, if he was remained alive, it would have been a very difficult uh, for us to control the situation, whereby he is being a more experienced on the political side. So just to stay in the power, he could have done any sort of mischievous act at the cost of even the country also. So you would think that had Mujib remained alive, he would have turned the tables on you all? And yes, you that would have been the, his first effort. And so you had to eliminate, you felt yes, you I, had to kill him? Yes, I had to. Once set on removing Mujib, the young colonels had to find someone to put in his place. Their obvious choice was a man of their own kind, an army man. So they approached Major General Zia. The first obvious choice was General Zia, because at least he was not tarnished. So after a lot of arrangements, I managed to see him on 20th of March, 1975, in the evening. General Zia said, I am a senior officer, I cannot be involved in such things. If you junior officers want to do it, go ahead. Then we walked in the lawn and uh, I told him, sir, that uh, we are professional soldiers. We serve the country. We do not serve any individual. We have to change it. We, the junior officers, have already worked it out. We want your support and your leadership. Colonel Rashid, you and Colonel Farooq made Mr. Mushtaq president after Mujib's death. Did you bring him into the plot before that? Yes, uh, I had the first contact with him in, around the first week of August. And subsequently I met him on uh, 13th as well as on 14th. Did you discuss the killing of Mujib with him? Not the killing, but uh, it has been shown in a way that uh, they are to be removed by force from the power. And uh, it may lead to a killing to Sheikh Mujib also. As the words of Colonel Rashid and Major Farooq echo through history, Bangladesh faces another moment of turmoil. The nation is gripped by chaos, corruption, and unrest. The parallels between the past and present are clear. Is Sheikh Hasina, like her father, trapped in a cycle of tragedy? With the country in crisis, the question remains. Is history repeating itself? Or can Bangladesh break free from the shadows of its past? Thank you. 